Good Friday evening, everyone. I'm Crystal Martinez. Thank you for joining us for your news at 10. And a story we've been following closely. We've learned there's a COVID-19 outbreak at Asylum Springs Nursing Home. Fox, excuse me, KWA's Lauren Craycott sheds light on the concerns family members have. Honestly, it's heartbreaking. KNWA has had multiple people, including workers, reach out to us concerned with COVID-19 cases and deaths at the Salm Springs Nursing and Rehab Center. Most everybody's response is get your grandmother out of there. She's not going to make it. On Friday, an anonymous woman came forward. Her grandmother is at the facility and recently tested positive for COVID-19. Did you hear a lot of other people? Well, my grandmother didn't make it or my grandfather didn't make it. So it's like, why are they having so many? According to the Arkansas Department of Health, the first COVID-19 death reported at the facility was in mid-September. The second death was reported a week later. The number of cases reported since the pandemic, two. An updated report should be released Monday. You guys are on the inside. We're on the outside. You know what's going on. I'm not sure on the, the current total. I do know that they've been dealing um, with with an outbreak at that facility. Rachel Bunch is the executive director for the Arkansas Health Care Association. She doesn't know specifics surrounding COVID-19 numbers within the facility, but claims things appear to be improving. They told me that tomorrow they have seven people that will uh, be ready to move off of the COVID unit. So that's seven recoveries and really good news for them. Bunch told me the Salem Springs Nursing Home has been working closely with the ADH. It's also been hiring more people to help with staffing and employees implementing reoccurring testing, but this woman says it's not enough. Overseeing what you do, are you confident that this facility is in fact doing what they need to be doing in regards to COVID-19 response? My understanding is that yes, they are. Things don't seem right. Again, an updated report is expected to be released Monday. We will continue to follow this story. In Salem Springs, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News. Lauren, thank you for that. The